Well, let's bring in Dr Tom Long at the University of Warwick in the UK now. He's a specialist in Latin America. Tom, can we expect Venezuela to tip into bankruptcy? Um, and how likely is it that Russia may come to its aid with some debt restructuring? Thank you very much for having me. Well, I think Venezuela is going to be facing a really hard time, and it's been looking to Russia and before Russia to China for solutions for quite a while as its debts have been mounting more than $60 billion in bonds, but a total external debt that's probably well over, over twice that. So Venezuela is going to continue facing difficulties because it's in the middle of, one, a cash crunch, and two, its negotiations have been complicated by U.S. sanctions. Yeah, I mean, restructuring of its debt could be quite tricky with those U.S. Uh, sanctions. The European Union has also readied sanctions. The country, though, is spiralling into a humanitarian crisis. If investors seize assets, what would happen to the country? What would happen to the people? Well, the country has been going through an incredibly difficult time for years, and it's uh, just getting more and more difficult. Essentially, Venezuela is using all of its declining foreign reserves, and it's selling off many of its, its foreign assets, many of those in the oil sector, uh, to be able to meet these debt payments and to be able to support uh, a really costly and inefficient uh, multiple currency exchange rate scheme. And to do that, it's just cut imports. And Venezuela, 95% of its exports are, are crude oil, uh, and it imports mm. an overwhelming majority of its food. Uh, and so food and medicine are amongst the things that are immediately cut when imports are slashed. Now, as you evoke there, this is a situation that's been building for years and has come to a head now. But where does the blame lie? Is it with the United States for its sanctions or is it also to do with the Caracas government, a socialist government and fixed prices for years? Well, this is the, the blame overwhelmingly rests with the government in Venezuela. The U.S. sanctions have complicated matters, but they're actually very narrowly targeted. Venezuela could appoint other negotiators uh, who are not under sanction, and that would ease some of the immediate difficulties of the negotiations. But the root of this problem is in Venezuelan mismanagement of the economy and particularly in mismanagement of the national oil company, PDVSA. Uh, this is a country mm. with massive oil reserves, um, but its oil production has been falling even mm -hmm. as its debt problem mm -hmm. mounts because okay. it's underinvested and, and that oil company is in real trouble. Dr. Tom Long at the University of Warwick. Thank you. Thank you.